that we may be, may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. So all of us have, have experienced pain and loss of some level. I don't imagine there's anything worse or more painful than a parent losing a child, and par particularly in a violent situation like this. But we all have some measure of pain that we can bring to this time of prayer for these families. And so I'm, I'm going to ask you to uh, join me and join us as we pray around this table for the families and what has happened in Uvalde, Texas. And there are other things that are said associated with this that we can get into if the Spirit of the Lord leads us there. But I want at first really uh, be the Lord's hand extended to these families in this time of horrific loss. So Father, we just want to thank you. Lord, even as this verse of scripture, these verses of scripture that we've just read begins with praise, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we do praise you, we bless you, we exalt you, we honor you. Lord, we don't always understand these things that go on around us. One thing we do know that there is evil in this world because the devil was defeated, he was yes. kicked out of heaven, and he he came he came to this this, this, to the nation, to the world, uh, and he kicked, he was kicked out of heaven, and he brought his evil uh, plans to this world, and he has impacted the world with that, and that's why the scriptures refer to him as the God of this world. But Lord, we know that you are the supreme God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We bless you. We praise you. We exalt you. We honor you this morning. And Lord, when all these things, despite the fact that all these things are happening, all these horrific, painful things are happening. We say we still love you because we know that this was not your doing. You did not request it to be done or desire for it to be done, but it was a move of the devil. And Lord, we just bind him right now in the name of Jesus. We say tie the devil's ugly hands. Amen. But first we do pray, Lord God, for these families yes. that have lost their children them in all their grief to look up. And to see you and to not be mad at you because you didn't do this but Lord to some fi somehow find peace in you to see the love in your eyes for them uh, and for their child that has been killed but we just pray right now in Jesus name that you the God of all comfort through your people will stretch forth your hand to bring healing to their hearts comfort to their hearts Lord, cause these families to come together to be united uh, as one in this time of loss. Uh, and we pray, oh God, that you will do this. We pray, Lord God, that somehow by your spirit you will comfort these parents, comfort these families by your presence. That, Lord, you will surprise them with joy. You will surprise them with your peace. Lord God, you can do all these things. We're asking you to invade this time of pain that they're in with your goodness, with your love, with your peace, with your joy, and show them what they can have in you. And Lord, we ask, oh God, that you will help them in this time of significant loss. Help them, Lord God. Nothing can make sense of it. And Lord, we're not asking you to help them make sense of it. We're asking, oh Lord, Lord for you to comfort them. We ask, oh God, for you to help them to somehow move past this and continue to live a life of faith and joy and peace. But they can only do that in you. And we know, Lord God, that it's only in you that we live and move and have our being. And Lord, we're asking, oh God, that you will meet these parents at this incredible place of need for them. Bring comfort to their hearts. Bring healing. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Oh, keep praying. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that we can come before you, before you at this very time, Father God. Our, our city, Father God, the city of Uvalde, Father God, is in, is in um, a great state of shock. They're in a, straight, uh, a great state of grieving. And, and I ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would bless the families, Father, that have lost innocent children yes. to this horrific crime, Father God. Lord God, I ask that you would bless them by, by the communities, the surrounding communities, Lord, just showing them love and support 
and just giving them a hug, Father God, just to be there and to pray with them, Father God, to lift them up in this most difficult time. Lord God, only you know the pain that they are dealing with, Father God. We can imagine, Father. We can only imagine, Father, the loss. But deep down in their hearts, Father, you know the grief, the pain that they, they are currently experiencing. So, Father, I ask that you would lift up each family member from, ev from every um from every member of that child that was um, that was killed, Father God, yes. be with them, Lord, be with them, and Lord God, I just ask in the name of Jesus that you would be with the children that survived, Lord. Yes, Father God, the trauma that they saw, dear Lord. That's right. The blood that they saw, Father God, these children are seven, eight, and nine years old, Father God, and to have to experience a trauma such as this, only you can heal them, Father God. Lord, I ask that you have your almighty hands over each and every child, Father God, that has experienced this horrific trauma, Father God. Because, Lord, we don't want that, that thought to be suppressed in their mind that they're not able to move forward in their lives. We expect for them to be fruitful citizens, Father God, regardless of what they have seen, but because you dwell in their hearts, Father God. And that you guide them along the way, Father God, as they mature, Father God, to be productive citizens mm. and citizens of the kingdom, Father God. Not citizens of darkness, Father God, but citizens of king of the kingdom. Yes. And Lord God, as 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 your verse says in the Our Father or the Lord's Prayer, deliver us from evil, Lord. Mm. Deliver us from evil. In every city, Lord, in every in, in every city of the states, Father. We're seeing people being murdered for no reason at all, for hate crimes, for racists, for just mental. They're 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 calling this a, a mental uh, a mental case, Father God. But this we know, Father God, that these are demonic spirits that are dwelling within these people that are committing these crimes, Father God. For the enemy, Father, is walking around ready to be devoured. But in the name of Jesus. We bind every demonic spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus mm. to prevent this from happening, Father God, because there will be other copycat situations, Father God. Just last night they showed that in the city of Seguin, a young man was arrested, dear Lord, because he actually made a threat. Whether he was playing or not, Father God, this is serious. And Lord God, I thank you for the Border Patrol. I thank you for the state representatives that are being involved, Father God. I thank you for the uh, troopers, Father God. People are already questioning, well, why this, why that? Let the investigation be done. Let the true facts be exposed without having to go on assumptions, Father God. We stand on you, Lord, because we know that you will bring the truth to light, Father. And we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, because of whom you are, Father. Father, I know that you are the healer of this people, Father God. Your word says... You are our healer, Father God, and I just thank you, and I honor you, and I glorify you. And Lord God, I just ask that every person that will be going to you, Valdi, Father God, would would be there just to show some love, Father God. Maybe just even give uh, somebody in the plaza a bottle of water, Father God, a hug, Father God, something that they may desperately need at this time, Father. In Jesus' name I pray, yes. amen. Father, I do pray that you will lead by your spirit those who yes. desire to go down Yavaldi to help the families there, to help the city there, to help the people there. I ask, oh God, that they will be led by your spirit so they Amen. will know what to say Amen. and what not to yes. say, when to speak, when not to speak, what to do and what not to do. Oh, we ask, oh God, for you to be in control of all of this, those people of good heart, good nature who want to serve down there. We ask, oh God, that they do not uh, do too much and, and uh, you know, uh, 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 hurt the families because they need some space this thing that we can do is just come alongside someone and cry with them and Lord we ask oh God in Jesus name that you will help the body of Christ to know how to, to stand with the people of Uvalde who have gone through this who have lost their children or siblings or their or 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 their grand grandchildren whatever the case may be Lord God we pray that you will help the body of Christ to know how to help them how to stand with them in these days. And Lord, we want to thank you, oh God, for their healing. We pray for those families, Lord God, that they will not stop living at this Amen. point. Amen. Sometimes, Lord God, we know that a person can, can be hurt and they stop living at that point of that hurt. 
We ask, oh God, that this does not happen to those family members, those parents, those children, those siblings. We ask that this does not happen to them, but that, Lord, you will help people to come alongside them, to help them to continue to live, to help them to continue to, to trust you, to help them to look toward you if they don't know you, to help them to continue to look toward you for life itself, for how to live each day. Lord, you've told us that you want us to pray, give me this day my daily bread every day. We should be going before you, seeking you for how to live that day, for what we should need to need to receive in that day. Lord, you know what to, how to give us what we need every day. And Lord, we ask, oh God, that these parents, these siblings, these grandparents, they will seek you like never before. We ask, oh God, that you cause them to come together to seek you. That, Lord, that they will come together and cry together if that's what's necessary and to rejoice together, but, Lord, also to pray together, to seek you together and to heal together. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you, the God of all healing, you will stretch forth your hand and bring healing to the emotions of these family members right now in Jesus' name. That they will know the nearness of God. They will know your nearness. They will know that you say what you say in your word in Psalm 34, that you are near those who are brokenhearted. We pray they will know your nearness. They will know that you have not left them, that you are there for them even now. We can't explain all of this that has happened other than the fact that, yes, evil is in the world. But why did it have to happen? No one knows why it had to happen. It did not have to happen. But Lord, we're asking in Jesus' name that you will comfort those yes. who remain. Help them to continue to live. Help them to live past this horrific hurt. Help them to continue to live and to know you in the process. We ask, oh God, that you do this in Jesus' name. Okay. And Heavenly Father, as we... As we stand in agreement and pray, Father God, I would like to pray for the family of, of the teacher that passed away, Irma Garcia, and for the family of Eva, um, Eva Morales, or Mireles, Father God. They shielded their, with their bodies, Father, they right. shielded the, the children in their classrooms, and they both passed away. So, Father, I ask that you be with each family, Father God. We don't know them, Lord, but you know who they are. That's right. Bring them comfort, Father God. Bring them strength, in the, especially in these days where many preparations have to be made, Father God, that they not walk alone. And Father, I ask a special blessing for the Garcia family, Father God, because as her husband went to go place um, flowers on her grave, Lord, the day after he had had a massive heart attack and he's gone to be with heaven with her. They have four surviving children, Father God, so in the name of Jesus, Strengthen those children. Comfort yes. them, Lord. Yes. Wrap your arms around them, Heavenly yes. Father, that would be able to feel your love, Father yes. God. Let the Holy Spirit minister to them, dear Lord, that they're not alone, Father God, but that they are loved. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I also want to lift up um, this young man's grandmother, grandmother, Father. She's still in the hospital. She's alive. And I ask that you would allow her to be healed, Father God. There's many questions, Father God, many questions as to why and what, but she she needs strength for her healing, Father mm -hmm. God. She cannot talk at the moment. She cannot speak. She's right. She's responding by writing her answers on a piece of paper. So, Lord God, we ask that you heal her, Father God, and heal that family, Lord. I'm sure they're devastated, too, of what their son, their grandson has done, Father God, in such a small community where everybody knows one another, Lord. So bless all the families, Father God, all families in the name of Jesus. Yes, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We ask you to do that, Lord. We oh, ask you God, you to intervene. Lord, even Owen and her husband, uh, Joe, were married 24 years. They were married yes. together, Lord. And here now, they have both gone to glory. They have both died now. And there's four children as as, as has been prayed, Lord God. These four children are now without both of their parents. In the midst of this sorrow that has happened in that town, we ask you, God, in Jesus' name, for you to surround those four children. They will know your nearness. They will be. They will know their love. We can. We just bind the spirit of fear that will try to grip their young hearts. 
We pray, oh God, that they will not be afraid, but that Lord, they will know your love. They will know your provision for them. They will know the yes, nearness of God. We pray, oh God, in Jesus' name, that you protect yes. the psyches, the hearts, and spirits of these young children. We ask, oh God, that you will protect the hearts of the children that, that, that are in the school, Lord God, that, that know what happened there. We can imagine what they're experiencing now as we are at the last day of school now. We ask, oh God, that you will help them. Help them over these summer months. Help them to heal. Help them to come to a place where they can be uh, carefree children again. We ask, oh God, in Jesus' name, that you will protect these children. Lord, we want to thank you for doing that. We thank you, Lord God. We know that you love children. You said, suffer not the little children to come to me. You want the little children to come to you. You want them to know you. And so we ask, oh God, that you will protect these children protect their little hearts protect their young spirits draw them to yourself cause them to be saved deeply entirely definitively at a very young age to come to know you as their savior mm -hmm. to look to you lord god not to look to social media not to look to any other source not anything dark oh god but to look to you to look to the light we ask oh god that you will draw every heartbroken person to yourself in this hour that, Lord, they will, they will look to you. If they are angry, they can even look to you in their anger. Lord, we know that you can handle that. And so we're asking, Father, in Jesus' name, that you will draw them to yourself. You will bring your healing virtue upon them. You will bring people around them who will be you will use to speak into their lives and to bring them to a place of quiet faith and trust in you. Well, we don't have all the answers, but we know that you do. And we thank you, Lord God, for all that is happening even now to uncover what really happened here, what provoked this young man to do what he did, what, what, what happened in the timeline as such. Even that is under question as to whether or not the police officers went in the, at the right time or they stayed back. Lord God, you know. You know everything that happened. We ask you to uncover it all. So that, Lord, there can be right procedures established around schools, oh God. We ask, oh God, for you to intervene in all of these things. We ask, oh God, for your wisdom to come to bear in all of these things. Lord, even as on a presidential le le level, we have President Biden signing another executive order that says that uh, assault weapons cannot be passed down to schools. Lord God, we pray for you to intervene in all of these things. We say your kingdom come, your will be done Hallelujah. in our schools, yes. in our cities, in yes. our towns, in our, our municipalities. Let your kingdom come, your will be done, oh God. <clears throat> Lord, we are clearly lost without you. We are clearly lost without you. And we need you now more than ever in so many ways, in so many places. And so we ask, oh God, for you to intervene. We ask, oh God, for you to intervene in the whole political structure. Lord, even as we have seen uh, uh, one gubernatorial candidate has, uh, has gone to this uh, uh, press conference that the current governor had with the, a flank of uh, political leaders there with him to talk about what happened there at, at Rob Elementary School, Lord. And this particular candidate gets up to, 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 for grandstand. Lord, we, we pray that you bring... Bring him to the point where he reconsiders that activity. Lord, I want to put a word on it, but Lord, you know how to bring conviction to hearts. And so we ask, oh God, that you do that. We ask, oh God, that you, you really comfort the families in this time. And anyone who's trying to profit on this Amen. in some foul yes. way, Lord, we ask that you bring them to the point of conviction. Yes, Cause them to see a sin and to confess it before you and to come to you in true repentance. Yes. Brokenness of heart. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you move by your spirit. Lord, deal with yes. the hate, the anger, the fury that has entered into our culture. The self-centeredness. Yes. Oh God. Lord, we know that all of these things you took upon yourself, Jesus, when you were, when you were crucified on that cross it says by your stripes we are healed of all of that junk all of our sins you took the punishment for them all past present and future you took the punishment for it all 
That is why you were killed on the cross so savagely because our sin was so savage before the Lord God himself. And so we ask, oh God, for you to help us as people to deal with these sins within our hearts. Lord, in your word it says, the heart is deceitfully, is deceitfully wicked. Who can trust it? Lord, we need you. Yes. We need you more than ever before. We need you, Lord God. Now, people are talking about gun control again and making stricter gun laws. And Lord, we just pray for you to intervene in all of that. We don't want this to be a political thing. <clears throat> Lord, it's not a time for political grandstanding. It is a time for true heart investigation, looking at our own hearts, looking at what motivates our hearts, what motivates us to do anything. And for where there is sin, to confess that sin before you, to recognize, oh God, that we need you. And like, like that we are, that we are, we are sinful. We are sinful. And we need you to wash us clean. And we know, Lord God, that we can only be made clean by the precious blood of Jesus that flowed for us on that cross. That's so what we ask, oh God, in Jesus' name, for you to bring conviction, your conviction of sin, to hearts all over the nation. Not just in Uvalde and other parts of Texas, but Lord, all over the nation. We know there was another shooting just days ago <clears throat> at a supermarket in another part of the country. Yes. We ask, oh God, for you to bring conviction in hearts. There are people who are out there who are hurt themselves. <clears throat> and in turn, they're going out and hurting other people. Who knows why they did what they're doing, but most of these people are hurt or mentally ill or somehow they, are, they need the hand of God upon them. And so we ask, oh God, for you to move by your spirit that such ministry will take place in our nation, in the streets of our nation, in the cities and the towns and the states of our nation. That those who desperately need you will come to find you now, now more than ever. That, Lord, we will be able to prevent these kinds of things from happening because we have done a preemptive strike, if you will, by going around the enemy's plan and bringing healing to those who desperately need a touch from God. So we thank you, Lord God for what you're doing to raise up even more evangelism yes, in, our, in our nation. We ask, oh God, that Lord, you are so moved by your spirit that many, many, many come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Those who are mentally ill, Lord God, that they have been healed and delivered, be brought to a place where they are in, in fitness of mind. And we pray, oh God, that these things happen in Jesus' name, that, Lord, you intervene by your spirit. We know that the greatest power on the, on the, in the world is the power of your love through your people. <clears throat> and so we ask, oh God, to see that power released in these days. Like never before, Lord, even as we are about to go into the summer months, children are out of school. Yes. And all manner of things tend to happen in the summertime. Good and bad. Lord, we're asking, oh God, even now, Holy Spirit, bring conviction on hearts that will be intent on doing evil. Stop them in their tracks right now in Jesus' name. Yes. That this will not be a summer of bloodbaths, of, of killing and murder and all those kinds of things. It will not be. But instead, it will be a summer of salvation. It will be a summer of saving souls. It will be a summer of evangelism. It will be a summer of, of discipleship. It will be a summer where we see people coming to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask for you to do this. We ask, oh God, for you to intervene. We ask, oh God, for you to put boldness in the hearts of your people, those who know you, to recognize, oh God, that one of the weapons of our warfare is love. As love. For you so loved the world you sent your son. And Lord, you still love the world and you are sending us, your people, out into dark places. You're sending us the light into dark places to bring that light into the darkness, to dispel the darkness, just as it was when you came. The scriptures tell us the light uh, uh, shone in the darkness and darkness could not comprehend it. Lord, we say right now in Jesus' name, may that happen again and again and again as the people of God go out boldly, yes. confidently knowing that you have sent them and that you yes. are sending them. May we go equipped. 
May we go anointed. May we go yes. ready, O oh God, to rescue those who are on the brink of destruction. May we go, O oh God, Hallelujah. with that in mind. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, Father God. Yes, in the name of oh, Jesus. Uriya vakara siri makara sandara vakara saya. Utara makara saya vakara sandara makara siri. Utara vakara saya makara sandara vakara siri. Father God, we just come before you and we give you thanks, Lord, for what you're doing, Father. Lord, we praise your name, God Almighty, the great I am, Father God. We thank you for the lives that are being restored, Father God. We thank you for the healing process that has begun in lives, Father God, in the city of Uvalde, in um, the New York City with a family that their loved one was gunned down or shot there at the subway, Father God, in Pennsylvania where the 10 people uh, passed away from the grocery store shooting. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, that restoration is 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 going on in their minds and their bodies at this very moment, Lord. And it is through you, Heavenly Father, through your Holy Spirit, that this process is happening, Father. Lord God, I pray for every city in the state of Texas, Father God, at this moment, Lord, because there seems to be a pattern now of copycat situations, Father God. Two young men have been arrested the one in Seguin and then the one in Donna, Donna, Texas, down in the oh, lower Rio Grande Valley, Father. Lord, we know that we know that this this is not from you, Father. We know, Father God. And as Natalie prayed, dear Lord, convict those hearts, Father God, that are in the process of committing such a horrendous crime, Lord. Convict them, Father God, that your Holy Spirit would be greater in them than he who lives in them, Father God. Bring them out of darkness, Father God. And Father, I pray for every city in our United States, Father God. Yes, Father God, because these situations are not just happening in Texas, Lord. They're happening all over, all over, Father God. And we know, Father, that you are the creator of this earth, Lord. And the people, the inhabitants, they belong to you, Lord. Father, those that do not know you, Father, I pray, Father, that they would come into the kingdom soon, Lord God. And Lord God, we just thank you, Father God, for your moving, for your hands moving over this, over these requests. And Lord God, I stand in agreement with Natalie as she prayed that the people that go out to Uvalde to show love and support and to minister, to offer a prayer, a hug. Father God, I thank you that they will be led by the Spirit, Father God, and that there will be no... Um, no self-centeredness, Father God, <coughs> and people wanting to make money off of this situation right. that the city of Uvalde is currently going through. Father God, if there is money to be made, that the money be distributed or turned in over to the local um, sheriff's office, the police department, maybe a charitable organization that is down there. Lord, you know who that money needs to go to, Father God. We don't, <laughs> but you do. So bless them, Lord. Bless them that this is not about us at all, Father. It's not about us. It's all about Jesus, and it's all about the families in Uvalde experiencing this horrific tragedy, Father, that we're living in today. So, Father God, I just ask that people that are making plans to go and sell T-shirts and soap what saying support you, Valdi, that they don't pocket the money, Lord. The families, the families oh. need this money. With nineteen, with 21 people, Father God, uh, being deceased, Father God, these families need those funds. And we know, Lord, that you are our great provider, Father. And I know, Father God, and I stand on your word that these families will not lack anything, Father God. They will not lack anything in the name of Jesus. I ask that their faith, Father God, that their faith does not fold, Father God. That you would experience them to have a greater understanding of how they're walking in faith, Father God. That they're being led by your, your righteous right hand, Father God. Because as your word says, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. So, fam so Father, I ask that with every family member, you know the ages, Father God. You know the families, Father God. So I ask that you continue to walk with these, um, with these families and that you guide them, Father. Especially the family of um, Joe and Irma Garcia, Father God. Four siblings that are left. 
but through the grace of God, knowing that they will move forward in the in the love, Father God, that they are able to receive from the heavens above through their parents. Yes, there, it's a time of sorrow, Father God. It's a time of sorrow. But I thank you for being with that family, Father. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Jesus, Jesus, you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just ask that people that will be down in Uvalde, Father God, that they would be there to minister, Father God. Prepare them, Father God. Yep. Prepare them, Father God. Even if it's just a word of consolation through a scripture verse, Father God. And, and for there not to be any doubt, Father God, I bind that spirit of doubt in that city at this very moment, Father God. And I release the, the spirit of peace, tranquility, faith. Yes, Father God, faith, knowing that you are there with us and every citizen of, of that community, Father. Yes, Father God, to you is all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name, yes, oh God. in Jesus' name, in Jesus' yes, oh name. God. Lord, I pray for those families in Uvalde and around this country, those Christians who know you, people who know you, people who worship you, people yes, who serve Lord. you. In the midst of the, such pain, in the midst of such heartbreak, in the midst of such continued demonstrations and outbreaks of evil in our nation, yes, Lord. we ask, oh God, that our faith will not fail. Amen. Lord, I ask that you will strengthen the Christians of this nation to not turn from you, but to, 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 to plant themselves more firmly in you. Lord, the enemy would love to see us leave you, walk away, say it means nothing to be a child of God. But Lord, we rebuke that thought. We rebuke the, the things that the enemy is whispering into people's hearts and minds to do that very thing. We say no to it in Jesus' name. And we pray that instead, oh God, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. And every word that he says, and when he might uh, try to bait us with any temptation to turn away from you, we ask, oh God, that you will strengthen Christians in this hour. That we will stand, and having done all, we will continue to stand. That even as was said in the past, uh, as we read in the book of Daniel, if though he slay me, yet I will trust him. I will trust God. Even if he slays me, I will trust him. And Lord, we pray, oh God, that people will not give up on who you are. Amen. Recognizing that, Lord, you are good. You are good, and that settles it. That does not change. You are the, the same today, yesterday, and forever. You change not. You are good. And you love each and every one of us. <clears throat> and we pray in Jesus' name that the Christians of this nation will be strengthened by that reality, withstanding the enemy's taunts to turn from you, and they will be used by you to bring comfort to those around them. Whether they live in Uvalde or some other part of the country, mm -hmm. enable us as Christians in this hour to be strong in you in, and in, your, in our faith, to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, to know, oh God, that we, you have, you've given us everything we need for life and godliness. Even in this horrible situation, you've already given us what we need. All we need to do is look to you and find that, it, that it's there. Everything we need is in you. And we pray that you will help us as a body of Christ to share that with people around us. That, Lord, that which the enemy has meant for evil, Lord, you would turn it for good by causing the church to rise up with an evangelistic fervor in this time, letting the love of God flow through us in such an amazing way that many, many, many will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We pray that those who do not yet know you, that they will not be uh, turned away from you because of this. They will not listen to what they're hearing on the media about how God allowed it or whatever, or God wasn't there, but we still give the hearts to you. We pray that, Lord God, that, that Lord, you will grow your kingdom your kingdom's reign in hearts and minds despite this. Despite this. 
And we thank you, we pray you for it. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for the love of God flowing over the city of Uvalde like never before. Lord God, as, as people are uh, coming together, even this very morning, I spoke with a, a ministry leader friend of mine in this city. She and her husband run a ministry, and they are planning on giving money, raising funds for the families of Uvalde. Lord, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for these outpourings of love that are taking place through the body of Christ. May they be many, may they be powerful, may they be used of you to bring peace to hearts. And Lord, even so doing, that Lord, it will, it will be a message to those who do not know you that Lord, the church is here. Yes. The church of the living God is here, which means you are here because you are in us. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do despite all of this. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you for our officials that are in current office, Father, and they're giving you the honor, Father God. Father, I heard uh, Dan Patrick was asked a question by a <coughs> media interviewer mm. that why was he so upset? And he responded, how can you ask me that question and expect me not to be upset? I am a Christian man. And what has been done here in Uvalde has no uh, authority. There's no right for these children to have been murdered the way they were murdered. Of course I'm upset because I believe in God and I believe in life. So, Father, we just thank you, Father God, that they're, um, that these officials are outspoken yeah. in their faith, Father God. Yeah. And, Father God, I ask that you would convict um, the gubernatorial candidate, Father, that did the... Uh, that burst it out, Father God, while uh, Governor Abbott was a um, giving his his speech, Father God, and uh, Father God, this is not a t this is not a political agenda, That's Father right. God. That's it's right. not a political agenda. Now is not the time. And Father, all those all those followers on Facebook that were applauding and saying that this gubernatorial candidate did the right thing and. And bring so and so bring down, vote them God. out, bring Father conviction. God. Bring conviction to everyone that is making negative comments. Mm -hmm. Now is not the time, Father God. Now is not the time. Now is the time when even the citizens, if you're not a believer, still join in and and pray and let there be peace. I saw a post that says, "Why pray for the children? They're already dead." We know that they're dead, and we know that they went to heaven automatically, Father God, in a split second. They went up to heaven and they became little angels. But the families, Father God, we need to pray for the families. Those children now have a eternal rest, Father God. They were made whole, Father God, when they went up to heaven. So now we need to pray for these families that are the survivors of this, uh, this massacre, this, this horrific tragedy, Father God. Now's the time when the citizens of San Antonio, the citizens of other surrounding cities, we come together, but not to be against each other on Facebook. That does not honor God. If you can't say anything good, Lord, convict them not to post anything at all, Father. Mm. In the name of Jesus, Father yes. God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up every citizen in every um, in every city, Father God, here in Texas, in, in California, in New York, Father God, in Pennsylvania, Father God, you know the states. You know the states. You created these states, Father God. They're yours. They're not ours. We're just walking through this land in, on borrowed time, Lord. But these states are yours, and we claim them for the kingdom. Every state, Father God, has got to be claimed for your kingdom, Father God. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Instead of wickedness, Father God, let their love, let there be, uh, let the, the expression of love be shown, Father God where people could say, wow, you know, look what's going on. They're doing something positive. Positive, something positive in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father yes, God. Oh God. Yes, we Father say God. Thank you. But we say, oh, your kingdom God. come, yes. your will be done. Yes. In Uvalde, as it is in heaven. In our heart, as it is in heaven. On earth, as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will yes, be done. Lord. And Lord, we pray that you will bring conviction to hearts yes. that would seek to use this as yes. a uh, foundation for political pos political stances. Mm -hmm. Lord, uh, as we see the former president has used this to talk about George Floyd yes. 
and we can see the current president has used it to, to, to do another executive order to limit um, certain kinds of weaponry. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that you will bring conviction to hearts. That, Lord, um, conviction to hearts that will challenge the Americans' right to con bear uh, arms. Lord God, we pray all these things are underway. We recognize that it's underway, that the enemy looks for opportune times to do his, his, his dastardly deeds and to use different ones to accomplish them. We ask, oh God, for you to, to move by your spirit in these days, that you give leadership of all levels uh, the wisdom of what to do in these days, of how to combat the plans of the enemy, how to advance the purposes of God, how to move by your spirit, how to serve your purposes in the earth, how to serve your purposes in all our spheres. Lord God, we recognize that we have people that live uh, next to us in our neighborhoods. Uh, we have people that live in other radiuses around us. And so we ask, oh God, that uh, you are so moved by your spirit upon the people of God that in this day, Lord God, there will be not a person that has, that has not heard that Jesus Christ is Lord and loves them. We ask, oh God, that now more than ever, that Lord God, people come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Because when they are come, when they come to you, and they give themselves to you. We know by witness, oh God, by our own personal experience, that you are, we are radically changed. Our thoughts change, our, and as a result, our actions change, our likes and dislikes, they all change. And they change for the better, they change for good. And so we ask, oh God, that you will do this. We ask, oh God, that the miracle of salvation yes. take place over and over and over again. That, Lord, we will combat the paths of the enemy by bringing many, many people to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And, Lord, not only that they will be saved, but that, Lord, they will, they will grow in their salvation. They will become disciples of the living God. They will know your word. They will study your word to show themselves approved. They will know how to live it. They will know what it says and what it means. So that, Lord, they will know how to live for you. Lord, we know that that is the greatest a weapon that we have against the wiles of the enemy. And so we thank you and we want to praise you, oh God, for people who know you, who are bold enough to live their salvation life out loud. Live it out loud. Live it out loud so that we are drawing others to ourselves, drawing others to you. As you live in us, so we're Amen. drawing others Amen. to you. Yes. And Lord, we pray that Lord, as we are doing this, as we are living like this, that you are causing the body of Christ to be those lights that shine in the midst of darkness. And we are like a little beacon, if you will, that people will see you in us, shining in us. And it will show them that there, is other, there are things in the world that is good. And you are that thing. You are that good. You are that which they see. And Lord, as they see you in us, not knowing it's you, you're opening the door for us to tell them who they really see. Hallelujah. Who they are really seeing. Thank you, Lord. Yes. We want to thank you, Lord God, for people being saved in this hour. Lives being saved. Generations being saved. Cities, states, towns, and nations being saved. Lord God, we know that that is the greatest thing that we should be doing in this hour is bringing many souls to salvation. And not just that, but they are in a growing place. They are in a place where they will grow. Not just be saved and that's done, but we know that they will grow in the things of God. And we thank you for that. We pray, oh God, that you will begin to, to uh, send your people out in different ways to bring the message of salvation to a world that desperately needs it. Lord, you knew our needs, so you sent your son. So even now, you are sending your sons to go out. In Jesus name so we want to thank you for praying with us today I know we're probably ending a little bit earlier but than usual but it's giving you time to, to pray and to 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 think about what you can do as an individual how you can serve the Lord by reaching yes. out to people around you is there a school in your neighborhood go and pray around that school go cover that school in prayer and gather with some other Christian friends. Talk to your pastor. Talk to your ministry leader. Amen. Can What can we do to serve God in this area, in this community? 
What can we do to serve our children? Lord, we just pray for these children as they go into summer camps. We hope that they go to summer camps. And as they go to summer camps, they will encounter you. They will encounter your presence there. And as they go, oh God, they'll be strengthened. They'll be healed. They'll be encouraged. Lord, we ask, oh God, for you to do all of these things. In Jesus' name, Lord, work your perfect work in the middle of this situation. Work your perfect work. And bring many to salvation. And those who are on the cusp, if you will, <coughs> of the demonic or hell, we ask, oh God, that many be pulled back from the flames. As we read in Scripture, some will be pulled back from the flames by salvation. So we ask right now in Jesus' name that you work your perfect work. We say the United States of America is a Christian nation. We will not become anything other than that. In Jesus' name, we decree it. We are a Christian nation. And our Christianity will begin to shine now more than ever. Now that we are under attack in so, so many ways, we say that our Christianity as a nation shine like never before. And we thank you and praise you for you, O oh God, rising up within us, the people of God, to show who you are. We bless you and we praise you for that. And we thank you for what you're doing, what you're going to do. Amen. Bless the work of our hands. Yes. Lead us and guide us by your spirit. Yes. Prepare us to go out and prepare those who we speak to to you to yes. receive Jesus Christ as Lord. We thank you for doing it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with us today. Keep praying for the people of Uvalde. Keep praying for the people of God who are being, God is using to go to Uvalde. Keep praying. Keep seeking God on behalf of the nation, the United States of America, and the city of San Antonio in particular. We thank you for all that you will do. In Jesus' name. See you next time. And by the way, have a fantastic Memorial Day. I don't know what you're going to be doing, but enjoy your time. May it be a time for you, a time of prayer, um, that, that you memorialize, if you will, the Lord God. I know that's not what Memorial Day is, but memorialize God that day. In Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Amen. Amen. Amen.